Hello and welcome to my channel. We're coming up to the end year 2017 and advance Happy New Year to all you guys and let's celebrate 2018 with a smile because if not, you're gonna be sad the whole year. Anyways, did you ever think that I was gonna forget the knife review? No way. This channel is gonna be diversifying into lots of things but never ever leave out the knife reviews. For this episode, I'm gonna be talking about the top five spider co designs that I have with me. You can debate on it whether or not I have a duh, since I don't have an authentic spider co. But by design, the merits of its design, I can vouch for it since I carry it mostly in a daily basis. Now, the first things first, this is my pick for the fifth slot. That will be the last. There's lots of spider co designs still that I have, but this one would be number five. And this would be the design of the Domino. This is not the Domino, but really it is. Domino would have a carbon fiber scale here and one side titanium, but this one they have uh, full stainless steel scales, so it's quite heavy. It's not as light as the original authentic Domino, but by design, the flipper design, and how how sharp this guy is it's really good I like it so I like it a lot that I'll include it in my top five since this is really smooth it goes nice in your pocket with an addition of this lanyard here just makes it sweeter now for the fourth spot on my top five spider co designs that I really like it will be this guy this is the Mannix uh, since I don't have an authentic Mannix with me, but uh, by the pictures alone, I would say that it, the Mannix authentic would be smaller than this. This is just a big Mannix and it's, I dubbed it this, the XXL. Nice thing about this one is I can play with it. Pickability and then close, open, close, open. Ugh. So. Hello 2018, I just cut another line into my pattern, it's getting worn out, so... This guy has really nice details, the build quality is uh, really good. I would say this is the best build quality among the Spyderco, Chinese made Spydercos that, uh, that is out there. And this is really sharp. So, number 4, Spyderco Manix. XXL Weight alone, it's a pain and the size it's quite big and here comes this what's this? The Endura Endura 4 with the Emerson opening this guy I've sharpened this a bit this is not the knife that I've sharpened with the sharp maker but when I sharpened this knife it really is sharp 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 i mean i've chopped pork chops with this when i was uh, when we were out uh, doing some grilling with pork chops and i was slicing those pork chops really nice i really like this i really like i mean i began to respect this blade a whole lot you know it's it's a uh, it's a low saber more like a low saber grind but the way the geometry of that blade it is really good and it sharpens up really well plus how it carries in your pocket because of the frn frn scales it's quite uh, it's quite light it is not that heavy in the pocket plus another plus on it would be the black the black uh what you call it? i always forget this guy mm, pocket clip it's the black pocket clip so when you're although this gives it away the orange one but the black pocket clip is just a nice addition into your pocket and it just merges into a dark colored pants that you have that will be my number three pick for this slot okay number one and two it will be a very close one between this guy and another guy. This guy is the Yojimbo. 
it has that compression lock the nice thing about compression lock that I've noticed is as the design says it's compression so it's compressing into the lock so the more you apply pressure on the blade the more that the the more that the steel here of the blade itself is compressing into the lock so it makes for a much more solid solid blade when it's unfolded really nice blade I really like like the Warncliffe style on this blade and it's really sharp very sharp plus handy if something I'm gonna be doing for this is to blacken this clip if I can remove this some Chinese manufacturers they lock tight it some they some don't but I haven't gone into it yet so number four the Yojimbo and for the number one spot I'm sure you guys have guessed it is Spyderco's original compression lock design and this would be the paramilitary I really like this knife if there's one knife that I have that I have multiple copies of it is this design the Spyderco paramilitary 2 and for good reason it has got that compression lock when if you push into that blade the more it's gonna be locking so it's just a really nice design as this one is the best I mean the scalloped scalloped G10 handle the blacked out stone washed is it stone washed no it's just a black acid washed blade with a very fine stone wash maybe the black pocket clip and the blacked out screws this guy is your primary my primary tactical EDC that is just gonna be blending in wherever you go and that's saying that you have dark pants because if you're gonna be using khaki pants which I do sometimes then those are the times that I can carry or choose from other designs khaki pants well I'd go for this this blends well with my khaki pants khaki cargo pants still a, a spider co paramilitary design and like I said if there is one this knife design that I have which are multiple copies of the knife that I just use from day-to-day -day basis it is this knife the Spyderco paramilitary let's just do a pose so that they sit nicely in the camera all of them so one two three four five top one tactical and this one is more dressy so hope you like the video please let me know that you just hate me because you're this is these are just Chinese spider coats but uh, nonetheless some guy was telling me that it's a joke but hey it's a knife don't joke on it knives cut you and for all you guys that are just haters out there continue to hate that's what you do best for those guys that want to support the channel and have been supporting the channel just uh, hearing me rant and stuff I really do appreciate it guys I mean this channel is just gonna be going blowing up by 2018 I hope we're gonna be doing some outdoor stuff and you're gonna be seeing my face on the camera for some of the, for some of the guys that have been so, uh, supporting my channel I'm sure you've already seen my face I hope you liked it <laughs> not that it's not that it's important but hey it's a big deal for me that I'm gonna be in front of the camera and for 2018 I hope to be doing a whole lot more of that so Hope you like this video. Thanks for your support, guys. Welcome 2018 with a smile. Do not frown. And uh, hope I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.